gentle always with your pets. Super gentle, always, always. my channel. Today's video is a video I am so pumped for. It's a updated meet all my pets because I have so many that I feel like it can get confusing keeping track. So here are all my pets. I thought it would be a fun video to just get back onto the grind of posting every single week. I'm actually going to start posting twice a week which I'm really excited for. I'm figuring out things with editors and stuff like that so that will be very exciting. But anyways, I hope you enjoyed the video. The footage of the actual intro got lost, so here I am now and I'm going to look different in a second. But I hope you enjoyed the video. I love you and I will see you soon. Bye. Okay, also in the last intro was Bridget. Bring her here. Bridget, my <laughs> cutest cat here. I want her. And she's the best ever, but she's grumpy. She woke up from a nap, but she wasn't in the video and I needed to mention her. Everyone loves Bridget. She's the three-legged like cat. Right, girlfriend? Love you. Okay. Now, this is my 125 gallon fish tank. I am obsessed with it. We have the little cat beds right there. We have a stocking still up. I have no idea why. But this is my cichlid tank. We have peacock cichlids in here. And then we have four filament barbs. And this tank is just so active and so pretty. And I'm obsessed with it. But they all ate, so now they're all back in their territories. Next we have Maleficent, my leopard gecko. And she is from BHB Reptiles, so I got her because I loved his channel when I was a couple years back. And she is the sweetest leopard gecko. She was so mean when we first got her, but now she's a good girl. Right, sweetheart. Oh, she looks good in the light. Okay, then this is J. Cole, my other beardy, and she is actually a rescue, my friend, hey, sweetheart, she's getting upset, she's not very friendly, um, we've been working on socializing her, but she gets super stressed usually, so I don't take her out too much, just for short periods of time, to try to get her used to being handled, hey honey, sweetheart, sweetheart, you're good. My friend actually found her in his backyard and was like, hey, I found this beardy. And so the owner of the house before had a bunch of reptiles and ended up leaving a bunch of them in their backyard and stuff just to die. So we saved J. Cole and then we helped my friend find other rescues for the other ones. But yeah, I kept J. Cole. J. Cole is very sassy, but I love her. Right, you sassy girl. Then I have Douglas. He has a black beard right now. He saw something and isn't too happy about it. But he just had a really big meal. He was a rescue, so his growth was really stunted when I got him. But he's such a good eater, and he's such a friendly beardy. So for reptiles, I would always say that bearded dragons are so good because they're so friendly, they're easy to care for. The thing is, initially setting up their cage, there's so much misinformation, so you have to make sure you're setting up their cage correctly to keep them super healthy. But they're just so inquisitive and such fun. Wait, you're so handsome. You're such a cute baby. Okay, and then this is one of my snakes, Sasha. So she is a leopard ball python and she is so beautiful and so sweet. And she used to be a really finicky eater, but I actually had to turn up the humidity in her cage and really work with her and test some things out. And now she's a pretty good eater. She's a very sweet snake. And yeah, she's the sweetest. She used to be very head shy. She's not as head shy anymore. But yeah, she's been a very good ball python. She's the only ball python I own. I have two other snakes. I have a corn snake and then I have a hog nose. We're really quick gonna go get my corn snake Grizz, but my hog nose Samantha isn't going to be shown in this video because she is shedding right now. So when a snake's in shed, you never wanna pick them up because that will cause them discomfort. And obviously the animal's comfort comes first no matter what. Okay, then this is the newest member. He is my corn snake Grits and he is super cute. I actually got him from one of my dog clients. They, hi Bubba's. 
they had their girl move out to college, couldn't take care of him anymore. And he is like the sweetest corn snake ever. And I just think corn snakes are so cool. And the thing about corn snakes is a lot of them can be really finicky and he's just so tame that it's great. Are you doing my watch right now, Bubbas? <laughs> Ready to say hi. So pretty. Hello. Oh, he's choking me. Ah! <laughs> okay, and then here is Peanut. She's my second hedgehog. They do not live together. Hedgehogs are solitary, so they both have their own cages. But she's the grumpiest hedgehog in the world. She was a rescue. She wasn't socialized a bunch. And it's very hard to catch her on a good day, especially during the daytime, which it is. She's so cute. Right, Peanut. She is the cutest, though. You're so cute. She's getting better. She's gotten better, but she's still not the best. Then I have my hamster, little Becky. I love little Becky. And this hamster is named after one of my best friends, Rebecca. And I love him, and he's calmed down a lot. He was actually from like a young kid that had handled him, and he would bite all the time. So he was really stressed every time we would handle him at first. And now he's just a chill little hamster. He just hangs out all the time. Right, monkey? He's so sweet. Okay, whoops. Then I have my two guinea pigs. On the left, or right here, is Monday. He definitely has it going on. He has very long hair. He has to get it groomed. Right, honey bunny. Then I have Friday. Friday's a little bit more skittish, but super sweet as well. And they are the best piggies ever. Yeah, honeys. Okay, our next animal is my hedgehog, Eloise. She's actually a hedgehog that we got from a friend because she was moving and traveling and didn't want her anymore. So we have her and we have given her a home with lots of love and attention, but she's a very, very sweet hedgy. Okay, next we have my mouse, and she is an old, old lady. She's two and a half right now, actually. And she's the sweetest, but she's very skinny and getting old, and you can tell her old age is getting to her, but we're just letting her live out her life as happy as a clam. Right, hey, little mousey. You're the sweetest. Okay. You forgot to say her name. Oh, this is Sosama. <laughs> Then I have my Oscar tank, which is right here that we are in the process of doing. And he is the sweetest fish. He's so pretty and handsome. His name's Leonard. Um, and he, we're gonna redo his tank. I really like the white with him, but we have to figure everything out other than that. But yeah, he's the most handsome fish and his tank redo will be in the channel. And then this is Sherlock. This is my dad's cat. He's all shaved down because he got really, really matted. So he's not the most handsome. He usually looks so beautiful. But yeah, he's definitely like a little rat right now. Um, he hates me. This is the only animal that we own that doesn't like me. And he's the only animal that when I move out, I will not take with me. So yeah, this is Sherlock. He's he's a gem. He's really pretty. But he's kind of a jerk. <laughs> Sure. I also have dogs, which people know because I'm a dog trainer, but this is Jazzy. I feel like when we film a lot, she is very excited because we're doing things like walking. Um, but this is where a Doberman is 99% of the time when they're not active. Right, Jazz? Are you sleepy? Okay, let's go. You want a treat? Are you that tired? This is Taquito. He's my Chihuahua Minpin wiener dog mix thing and he's the sweetest thing. Right, Taquito? Oh, Jazzy wants attention so she's gonna move her paw. Stop petting her for a second and watch. She'll move her paw very slightly. She kind of asks for attention. She doesn't like that. <laughs> she just did. Then there's Cider. And Cider is my Coyote Chow mix and he is the sweetest. Right Cider, are you the cutest dog ever? Jazzy gets jealous when you talk about other dogs. <laughs> right honey bunny. Oh, yep, there she goes. She demands attention. Then there's Oxer. Oxer Parker, you wanna play ball? Watch this. You wanna go play ball? Get a ball. Go get your ball. Oh. I'm playing your ball. 
Get your ball. Come on, go. Go find a ball. Go play. And then we'll go see my goats. Come on, everyone. Come on, Callie. What about the other two fish tanks? Throw it for him. So, Oxer is a very high energy. He's the sweetest little baby. He plays fetch so hard that whenever he's done, he always has a limp. And I keep taking him to the vet, and they say it's overuse. And so, it's just from him playing fetch too hard. Right? Ball is life. Ball is life. Taquito, do you want to go inside? He loves it when it's warm. TT. Taquito. Hi, T. Oh, did you make it into house? You made it into house. You're so handsome. He's so handsome. Next is Zesty. So Zesty is actually my barn cat originally. We moved to a house and she was abandoned in the barn where I rode my horses at. And so I started to feed her and then we became besties for the resty. Zest. Oh, hi. she's super cute. She loves to eat. We have her on like a wet food diet now because she's overweight and it's not nice to have animals overweight, but we just really have to limit her food as much as we can. Right, Zesty? Are you mad because I woke you up from a nap? I know. I know. But look how pretty her eyes are. I love orange cats. The prettiest, grumpiest orange cat ever. <laughs> right, honey? And then I could not film a video about all my animals and forget my goats. So this is Sven, and he is a La Mancha goat. He's super sweet, he was supposed to be a meat goat, but we rescued him. And then this is Snow White, his sister, and they are in love, and they're best friends. And Sven picks on Snow White, and goats are really mean to each other, and it makes me sad, but other than that, they are good goats. Great goats. And then this is my last beta fish, and it's Poblano. Hi, Poblano, and he's a pretty boy. Thank you guys so much for watching. I appreciate you more than you know. I love making videos and this has been so fun. Quarantine and the corona and all of it has been so stressful and I hope everyone is staying healthy and safe. But the silver lining in it is I have had some extra time to make videos. So I'm hoping we can get in the habit of pumping out a bunch of videos and then we'll be good. Thank you guys so much and I will see you next video. Bye!